450 miles west and 8,000 feet higher, lambs are playing in the crags. I spent the last week watching them, and back home today, I'm in withdrawal. Bighorn sheep. Fascinating creatures that live in thin air and walk on sheer cliffs as easily as we course a flat sidewalk. And to see them is a special thrill of the mountain west. It's still spring in the highlands where melting snow and colorful flowers mark spruce and pine forests. And out in the rocks, geologic wonders that challenge the weather itself, female bighorns care for their babies. Mom has spent much time out together feeding near valley water, essential for adequate milk production. And their little ones, often far above and unafraid, sleep and play together, learning about their alpine world. Several times each day, they join their mothers in happy rendezvous. And lucky passers-by might see the family units close up. Bighorns are sure-footed, able to bound over boulders and run along ledges just inches wide. Predators are unable to follow, so that sheep are mostly safe when in the heights. Rarely do wild hunters find them vulnerable. Sheep are ruminant animals, meaning they eat quickly and later chew a cud to help digestion. Being sheep, they tend to eat grasses and weeds, surprisingly passing what would appear to be more luscious and larger plants desired by deer and elk. The sheep clip short plants nearly hidden in the thin soil so all area big game seems to get along with plenty. Rocky Mountain rams summer at chilly timberline, so unlike ewes and lambs, they are seldom seen during warm months. But where high deserts meet mountains, rams of a separate species, desert bighorns, may be found feeding in hot daytime sage flats, like their mountain cousins, these rams grow huge, full curl horns used for fighting that never stop growing throughout their lives. Such gatherings against a mountain backdrop make unforgettable scenes. Bighorns. I'll hope to see them again in the not-too-distant future. I'm Mike Blair, home from New Mexico.